What's up guys, Nick here, I'm making another video about Spectre, the Jane Bond movie that just came out. I was going to do the review last week, but I'm lazy, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to try to rush through it, because I'm not really pressed for time, but I really want to play my game. So let's do it. Spectre is about Jane Bond getting a message from his past, telling him to kill this one guy, attend a funeral, and by doing so, Jane Bond uncovers this secret organization known as Spectre, led by Christoph Waltz. And then, you know, action ensues. So, what do I think about the movie? I like the movie. I think it's a good movie. I think people should see it. It's a good movie. I don't think it's better than Skyfall, though. It really isn't. It tried to be a personal story as Skyfall, but it just falls short. And I will tell you why. First, they're good! Spectre has good action. It's shot very well. The cast is good. Jane Bond is at his bondiest in this movie. David Craig does a great job. Christoph Waltz does a great job. Dave Bautista's in the movie. He does a great job for, you know, his character. Now for the bad. This movie story is not all that good. It's, <laughs> it's trying to be as emotional story for James Bond at the last movie. It fails because it has a subplot that detracts from that emotional backstory. I mean, this guy named C trying to take down the double O program. And that kind of just derails the entire emotional aspect of this movie. Because keep jumping back to that scene, which is not as interesting as the other movie. So we don't get, you know, the full package. It's really wasted, kind of. It, it really is. Speaking of wasted, Christoph Waltz's character is wasted in this movie. He doesn't do anything. Basically, he doesn't. He comes in and talks a lot. He does one cool thing when he tries to torture Jay Bond. But that's it. One of the Bond girls, they try to force the idea that she might be the one to make Jane Bond leave his life as a spy. And by doing so, I just don't believe it. Being so, mainly because they don't set up the relationship that well. I mean, he comes in, finds her, saves her, saves her again, they talk, they argue, they get drunk with each other, then basically that's it. I mean, she saves him once, and then they have sex. But, that's it. They, I mean, I I didn't see the connection between these two characters and, you know, to believe enough that she will make him leave his life because she's, to me, kind of boring and not really that interesting. And I don't see, I don't see anything special in this girl. I mean, like, the girl from Casino Royale, I would have believed that she would make Jane Bond leave his life as a spy more than I did this chick because she actually had more chemistry with Jane Bond. She was smart. She was witty. She really got on Jane Bond's nerve. That is what love is supposed to be. This one... Uh, not so much. She's just pretty. With a cool backstory. And that's it. So yeah, Jane Bond's a good movie. <laughs> so yeah, Spectre is a good movie. I recommend seeing it. I personally have saw it twice. That wasn't planned, but, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I'm Nick. I'm making another video. Peace.